We know that it's hard to stay up to date on USIP's latest publications, so we've challenged our teams to summarize their latest research in less than a minute. This is Briefly. People with disabilities are the world's largest minority group, yet they are often left out of peacebuilding processes or included superficially. Legal frameworks and policies of inclusion have gotten better over the past 15 years, but much more needs to be done. Our new report shows that disability rights can help us reach across political divides and conflict lines. Plus, peacebuilding is more effective and successful when all perspectives are included. How can the peacebuilding field successfully include people with disabilities? First, we need to prioritize, plan, and budget for their inclusion. We need to partner with organizations of people with disabilities at every step. We need better data on whether peacebuilding programs are reaching people with disabilities and on their experiences in these programs. Peacebuilding organizations and governments should hire more people with disabilities and make sure their events and materials are accessible. Changing the status quo of widespread exclusion will require our creativity, commitment, and hard work.